x cubed minus y cubed equal to 61 and x and y are integers. So let's solve this problem. We have a famous identity that x cubed minus y cubed, you can write it as x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared equal to 61. So what times what is 61? 61 is prime number. So it can be 161, 61, 1, negative 1, negative 61, negative 61, 1, negative 1. At first, I want to prove negative numbers is impossible. So let's focus on this part. Let me show you. I want to prove this part is not negative. How can I say? I can say in two ways. Let, let me tell you the easier way. 61 is positive, x cubed minus y cubed is positive, so x cubed is greater than y cubed, and because that power is odd, you can conclude x is greater than y. So when x is greater than y, we conclude x minus y is positive. Because x minus y is positive, this one positive, the product is positive, so it has to be positive. Now, we can cancel these two cases, so we have two cases. 161, 61, 1. Let's focus on these two cases. In the first case, x minus y is 1. x squared plus xy plus y squared equal to 61. From here, you conclude x equal to y plus 1. And if we replace it here, y plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 times y plus y squared equal to 61. Now, we're calculating y plus 1. A squared, I should write the identity to use that. For calculating the identity, a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If you apply it here, it will be y squared plus 2y plus 1, y times y, y squared, y times 1 y plus y squared equal to 61. Then we have 3y squared plus 3y, 1 minus 61, which will be negative 60 equal to 0. So if we divide both sides by 3, y squared plus y minus 20, equal to zero. You can factorize. Pause the video and try to factorize by yourself. It will be y minus 5 plus 5 y minus 4 equal to zero. So from this one y equal to negative 5, from this one y equal to 4. Let's check these two cases. x, y. y negative y, 5, y, 4. And x is y plus 1. So it will be negative 4, 5. Now, Let's replace in x cubed minus y cubed. First case, negative 54, negative 1 to 5, which is 61. One here, 1 to 5 minus 64, which is 61. So, found these two answers so far, and both of them satisfy main equation. Now we should check this. So in this case, x minus y is 61. Let me write x minus y is 61. x squared plus xy plus y squared equal to 1. From here, you conclude x equal to y plus 61. Now, if you replace it here, y plus 61 squared plus y plus 61 times y plus y squared equal to 1. Now, again, we use this identity, y squared, 2 times 61, 1, 2, 2, y, plus 61 squared, plus y squared plus 61y, plus y squared equal to 1. y squared, y squared, y squared, 3y, 3y squared, 1, 2, 2y, 61y, will be plus 1, 8, 3 y plus 61 squared minus 1. 61 squared minus 1. 
Okay, so. Well, you have famous identity that a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. So I can say it is 3y squared plus 183y plus 61 minus 1, 61 plus 1. Equal to zero. 61 minus 1 is 60, 61 plus 1 is 62. We divide both sides by 3, it will be y squared plus 61y plus 20 times 62, which is 0. If we simplify more, y squared plus 61, y plus 2 to, you have 0, 2 to 4, 2 times 6, 12. Now I use quadratic formula, and if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, if consider delta or discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, if x is real, it should be at least zero. Here in the problem, we said that x and y are integers, so obviously there are also real numbers. If I calculate d discriminant or delta here, it will be 61 squared minus 4ac. 61 squared is 3721 minus 4 times this 0. 16, we have 1, 9, 4, which is obviously less than 0. So we don't have any real answer or integers here. So our only answer are these two cases negative 4, negative 5, 5, 4. If you want to learn more ideas, you can send a message to my WhatsApp number. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thanks. Bye bye.